belly of words. I come with numbers like I'm from the jerks. Spitting with splurge, blessing on earth. God is my witness, I rise through a verse. I see it clear through glass of a nerd. I'm finna rip it and move around the curve. Tear up the city like I'm getting angry. I'm coming like Feeny, he coming like Fur. <laughs> Find out who you are, cause this shit is really spot. Yeah, it's the stars of LA. It's the stars of LA. It's the stars of LA. Yeah, it's the stars of LA. What you gon' do with it? When we pull up, you know we gon' act a fool with it. Baby mama drama ain't got shit to do with it. Yeah. Ain't got shit to do with it It's the studs of L.A. What you gon' do with it? When we pull up, you know we gon' act a fool with it Baby mama drama ain't got shit to do with it Yeah Ain't got shit to do with it Yeah Yeah Ain't got shit to do with it The whole night was great. After the club, I think that we started off turning up and went into some other shit that never should have even happened. <laughs> I don't know, man. It was insane. You just went too far in terms of just being drunk and doing dumb shit. I think it made us look real bad and real like ghetto and ratchet. And that's not us. Like at the end of the day, we was all supposed to be together and we're supposed to be a unit. And it just turned into like all of us going against each other and it didn't make sense. Twin is hella disrespectful for inviting her girlfriend over. Knowing that she don't like none of us, even the people making the damn show. Nobody was even thinking, Twin wasn't even thinking about how that shit would have ended up if you bring a girl who told you and told us that she wants to be one of our asses, which means all of our asses in our mind. She know that. We fought girls in a car. We fought each other. We were having a good time up until that point, and it all started because of her girlfriend. What did you think was gonna happen? You thought it was gonna be kosher? Oh, she can come back to the crib, we all family or something like that? No. She made it very clear how she felt about us, and we made it clear how, she felt, how we felt about her, and she still ended up outside the club. Drunk ass mistake, stupid ass mistake. It's embarrassing us. Especially having my own like, place, my own spot, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's embarrassing us. You know, everybody started to, to go in on the girl and uh, she started really going in on us and we started going in on each other a little bit. I mean, if that's some shit that Twin gonna pull again, she need to go. Twin never brought that over. Yes, that we would have never had an issue. Yeah, I don't want to see that again. They don't even know her, so that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> I don't know, I don't think Twin need to ne never do that shit again. Mistake number two. After that shit is done, it's done. It was supposed to be over, but it wasn't. And we started fighting each other. It's like, yo, Court, get in the car, get in the car, get in the car. She's not getting in the car, she's fighting twin. The court situation was uncalled for. Yeah, I think Court was disrespectful when she got back to the house, talking easy, all type of crazy. Court knew she was wrong, so she, she decided that she wanted to be on defense about whatever it was that she wanted to. Court never should have said the comment that she said about I can get somebody to rob you or whatever the f she said like that's a tr that's something that's going to trigger anybody shit you're talking to me and you're, t and you're telling me that you're going to get somebody to take shit from me my shit and you my friend I don't care what we're arguing about I just not understanding why you're saying that that ain't that wasn't it that wasn't it she was mad about me and all that she should have just handled that that way she just took it a little too far it was just, it was a fucked up situation that really didn't need to go that far. I understood what Easy was coming from when she said, I understand that you apologize and shit like that and everybody was trying to be calm with her, but I don't think it was like functioning through 
car at the time. She's capable of having somebody pull up and rob us was a statement that should not have been said. Maybe because she was drunk and everything like that, but even now, not so like today, we all hit her up to, you know, just check on her and make sure she's good. But I feel like she's still in the same kind of like vibe and like that this shit. And you know, she, I don't even think she's apologized to Easy for saying that remark, and I don't even think she's even addressed that remark or thinks there was anything like wrong with it, which is fucked up. Ultimately, it was completely unnecessary, and that shit was just hella uncalled for. At the end of the day, we all gotta trust each other, especially being in the house, and you know what I'm saying? Regardless, like, I don't think she understood why that was wrong, or maybe she did, but she's like not acknowledging it, and she's getting so stuck into her own thoughts in her own head, or she's still mad about what happened at the club of people yelling at her and telling her to get in the car. And so she just is focusing on the wrong things right now. So it's fucked up, but yeah, man. I never would have thought bringing you in the house out of all people, I feel like I gotta watch my back. And for you to literally tell me that I can get you robbed right now, my heart just like broke. And I realized that in this house, we gonna probably argue if it comes to that, but that's what comes with family. And that's how I look at y'all and that's how I've been looking at you. But I feel like everything up until that point was salvageable. But court, like, you broke my heart, bro. Like, you really was my friend and my shit. Like, I never think that you would say nothing like that to me. And for you to say some shit like that to me, bro, you can't be trusted. I can't have you around. And, and the simple fact, you ain't even call me in the morning. I was literally trying to give you the benefit of the doubt this morning to like, you know what? Let me just say that she was drunk. Because court wouldn't say no shit like that to me, like, at least I don't think so. And then to hear everything he was saying last night, like, what? I don't need this show. She need us. She need me. I had come before her. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, what all that got to do with me just trying to, you know, get on the bus and, you know, making sure you're all copacetic? Where's all this coming from? It's this anger. You know what I'm saying? Everybody telling me, like, yo, she said some outlandish shit. I had to walk away, bro. And they hear that from one of the people I think it is the closest in the house. It just, it break my heart, bro. And I don't even know, like, the fact you ain't call me, you ain't text me, but everybody in the house heard from you. And you said, F this show. Every, you don't give a f about me. I literally was like, okay, let me think of all the things that I could probably admit that I was wrong to. And uh, maybe I should have said it in a sweeter way that somebody could be robbing us right now. Maybe when I was expressing my feelings when you didn't even get a chance to hear me express my feelings. It was finally that moment for me to be vulnerable. Maybe I should have just, I don't know, said it even in a softer tone, but bro, like, nothing excuses what you said, bro. And I just, I don't even know if I can look at you the same anymore. I felt like it was so backhanded, everything you were saying, like, the moment that I was able to tell you my feelings, you blame me for yelling at you. Nobody even put their hands on you. You literally said some girl, twins, ex, literally said like, oh, she was gonna fight me. She didn't though, she didn't fight you. So why is it that you so pressed about a girl and not pressed about your homie? <laughs> like what? You really was my friend. So to see you pack your shit and leave and not even be like, you know what bro? Now that I heard you, now that I hear why you couldn't get over it right away when I needed you to, like my like, my bad. I don't get none of that. And you show me your true colors, bro. And like, I really got love for you, bro. And I love Lex, I love your kids. That was fucked up shit. And for you to leave the house, it was just like, bro, you must not have wanna be here. And this shit you were saying all over me, just saying my life. What is it? Cause I mentioned how much my jewelry costs. I ain't never came to you and been like, you you ungrateful. I ain't never said nothing disrespectful to you for you to say some mean shit like that, bro. So I know you wouldn't want anyone to leave the house, but would you want to, would you bring her back? I would bring Cora back because I love her in a way to where it's like, give me something. Just give me something so I don't have to look at you like this. Cause you say some wild shit when we drunk, bro. I said some shit. So I know this ain't your, I'm trying to know, I think that this isn't your character because we can go left. But you ain't giving me nothing, bro. So I would only bring you back just so you can explain to me. 
but you explain it to everybody in the house sober that you don't give a f about me and you said that in my face and then your actions show it so even with all that i still bring it back just to try to mend the friendship and but i don't know man my feelings are hurt and i tried every excuse in the book but you don't give a f about me and your actions show you never did that shit hurt. That shit hurt real bad. I'm so sad and just like, I never expected that from you, bro. Never. Give a nigga break, need a Kit Kat. They big mad, been hating, that's a big fact. Cut from a different cloth, you can't stitch that. My name all in their mouth like a goddamn Tic Tac. Hey. We going out. Black on the block. Here we come. Let's get it pop, black like, and drop it. God damn it, not a joke. I was talking to them bitches. I was like, please, why'd you bring your Yeah, you see you calming them down. I'm trying to go I start to talk I'm going to beast maker. I turn around you. And yeah, I'm like, bro, what the hell is Would you want a new girl to come? She would be your roommate. I know, that's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, I am welcoming as hell. <laughs> but I don't. I think we're good. <laughs> Too much has happened for a new girl to come and really tie in, you know, she, she's not going to be able to look in, so it's going to be like a miscellaneous and it's going to feel like that too. I guess it also would be up to Diamond because it would be Diamond's new roommate. Diamond has a very welcoming she does. demeanor. <laughs> she's the best roommate. Really. Traumatized, like I want us all to like, uh -uh, I love this unity that we have. So we're bringing a new girl in the house. I think they wouldn't have no type of bond with us. Hey, it's a black on the block. We late, but look, we outside. We And if I do, I know how to win. No, you don't. <laughs> All right, this is your challenge, okay? Oh, yeah. Nothing to do. What the fuck are we doing? She was that was in the kitchen. What? Yeah, what that is? All right, y'all ready? So this is your challenge. We lesbians, all right? Right? We are. All right. Yes. yes. Last time you had a dog in your mouth? Never. I all right, cool. So we gonna have some dogs in our mouth. We got what? some rope. Listen, look, we got rope. So I'm tying this rope around your waist. Oh. Around your waist, right? I'm gonna put the dog. Listen, and then we're gonna put the dog on here, right? With his tie, and y'all gotta stroke it and catch it in your mouth. So we get to black on the block, and I got the challenge for the girls, and I'm like, boom, put a hot dog around your waist and stroke it. You know what I'm saying? And try to catch it in your mouth. Pause. Okay. You're <laughs> moving. And the first person to You're do that. Both got it, the first person to win wins the challenge and wins the boat. Y'all ready? I knew it was gonna look all sus and shit because they all studs. So I'm like, yeah, what if they catch a hot dog in their mouth? Fire. Y'all ready? Get y'all to get the rope. I cannot get that shit. Oh, 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 oh,
like I'm from the jerks. Spitting with splurge, blessing on earth. God is my witness, I rise through a verse. I see it clear through glass of a nerd. I'm finna rip it and move around the curves. Tear up the city like I'm getting angry. I'm coming like Feeny, he coming like Ferb. Straight from the trenches, I don't get benched. I'm getting wins like I play for Clems and picture me rolling, sipping some deuce. Say all yellow bins that be look like Simpson. Trigger the flash, I get attention. More that they doubt me, I rev up the engine. Small with this shit, better check my IQ. Black on the block. Easy had us doing this stupid ass hot dog jelly. <laughs> but the best eater in the house won. I got the belt now. She's getting too good right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, Technique. All right. What y'all Tell me in the comments. Hell yeah. You gonna get it for me for real? You gonna get it for me for real? Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Okay. That's dope. Hey. I appreciate this shit for real. Oh God. Imagine. We oh God. God. Hell yeah. Oh God. How are you? Good, man, we pulled up and showed out. These my peoples, y'all. Everybody said the owner of the cool smoke. Yeah. It's an old man. How you doing? I'm Diamond. What'd you say? Yeah, this is always so nice. Oh, I, we love having you. Yeah, time, my voice is gone. <laughs> but I can hear you. Go get up models and bottles. Pictures and skis. What costume do y'all want? Pepe, Pepe. Pepe, Pepe, Pepe. 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 Pepe, have a great ass time at Black on the Block. Show up, they always show them mad love. And Diamond's like, yo, I got a spot we can go to. And one of my homegirls party or whatever, it's like a little lesbian party or whatever. And I'm like, all right, bet. Now when Diamond say she got us, she got us. Say yo, tell Ash to text me back. She texted me and said yo. She had texted me something earlier that she wants me to respond to. What happened? Uh, well, because she's texted me and said that we need to cut out everything with Lex in it. I'm trying to figure that out now. No, she right. texted her back because I don't want to offend her or anything. But at the same time, like. Everybody came in the house knowing exactly what we were doing, what we were filming, and what was going on. So it's kind of like, at the same time, like you agree. Now it's just like, I don't want this, I don't want that. Like, that's really showing. Like, damn, I didn't get an apology, but like, you you saying all this stuff. I ain't get a call, but you saying all this stuff. It's just going back to the home. It's like out the video though. It's like, and when we it was, there is certain shit that's like, you know, damn well it can't be taken out the video. But she also said she didn't care if you about the show. Like, so it's. We, nothing's wrong with, we have nothing with Lex. There's, we don't have a problem with Lex. Not that we have a problem with court, but Lex is just kind of like collateral almost. Like, you know what I mean? So it's like, I feel like she, she's, Lex is gonna ride with her wife. If it was me, the purpose, the, my purpose of my show would be to have as much content as I can. You walked into my show having that, knowing that. 
It's not, it's not personal. It's just you came in here. You have to be ready to be on camera. I think they agreed to it at first, so you can't switch up midway. It's like you already, you mean you already did something that's fucked up. It's like you don't have to do all that yeah. and be more fucked up. Because now it's like, all right, if we see you out, or if I see you out, it's like, all right, we had some drama or whatever. But now it's like, I feel like she's adding on and adding on and adding on, like making us, make me want, I don't know, she just wants to not like me now. Like, um, it seemed like the relationship is tarnished whether you put her on there or not. I don't know that that's between y'all, but if you put her on there or not, it seemed like the relationship is going to stay the same either way. Exactly. So you got to, you know? Care about money. Because that's what she, she paid paid for. That's, she, that's, what, that's what pissed her off. That's what it was. It wasn't yeah. even no, like, if it was the weird thing, if it was me putting my hands on it, but it was a point, hit point of money. Something about money and me mentioning money and how much value I have on me and I'm an easy target. She hear nothing but the money part and yeah. said, nah. I don't give a f about that shit. The first thing that she said, she said, I don't give a fuck about that shit. Like, I got money, I don't need this show. Yeah. That's just I'm saying, that's people, that's right? that's saying that's that though, that none of us, we not getting paid for it. But so don't saying, we all know? Do y'all not? We knew that before she was on the show. But am I not paying for everything? I'm yeah, trying to make sure y'all accommodated. No, she said she don't eat red meat. She said she don't eat red meat. I'm like, bro, you uh, order you something? I'm trying yeah, to do something. Right. You are like, no, you no, take. No, right now you was about me to read. Nigga, and it ain't all in all. We was having a good fucking time. Like, who's the fucking? We all friends, man. I, I, but I, I, leverage. I understand. Right. We're like getting out, Exposure. getting our name out there. We had a big ass house for a week. And nice ass house. The thing is, though, to me, even with me in court, that was, she was just like, hell yeah, I love what you're doing with studs. This is going to be a great opportunity for everybody to show yeah, that yeah, studs, yeah. we could fucking get along and just have a good time. And be the first, I, I could pack my shit. Like, wait, what? And we going we gonna to end our friendship over this leaving. shit? No, I'm, there, there, I'm not leaving. There's no reason why I would leave. I appreciate the opportunity. Whether it was last minute or not, I've done a lot of shit to be here. I'm gonna stay here. And everybody had a and and and, I, and it's crazy because of the relationship y'all had. I assumed that she would be here to the end with me too. I hate that because that was my roommate, and now I'm sitting in the room by myself. I don't want nobody else <laughs> new though. Cause we are. No, I am. I'm sitting there like. You wanna switch your rooms? I can bring this. Yeah. I had to leave her. I had to leave her by herself. Listen, with her girl. Yes, I love yeah. all y'all, bro. Like, Welcome, I'm, I'm, actually I'm, told I'm us. <laughs> right, he switched me rooms. I'm sad okay. she's gone, but it, you know that's her decision. That's her decision, and and that's Whoever a bad she got to bitch the room, it's that room or whatever. We gonna switch we rooms. We switch it. I'm ready on live. It's the studs of LA, yeah. It's the studs of LA. What you gon' do with it? When we pull up, you know we gon' act the fool with it. Baby mama trauma ain't got shit to do with it, yeah. Oh, 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 We got in that motherfucker. We go, we pull up. Sprinter van, it's lit. The security like, oh, I know you. He dabbed me up. He like, yeah, yeah, come on. I'll escort y'all down. Escorting us down to this lit ass party. It's like some downstairs shit. It look lit. I'm like, oh, this popping. See, that's what I'm talking about, Diamond. Diamond got us right here. I want to be hot. I want to be hot. I want to be hot. We had something. Uh, we came in, we knew the DJ, the people at the door let us in with our cameras. We're having a good time. Nobody had to pay for anything because when I say I got us, I actually got us. Give me, 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 give It was fun in the beginning, like it was a good vibe and all that shit. So it was really fun. And then I seen a couple of my friends there, like. <laughs> we walk out the bathroom, diamond on the DJ poop. We hyping her up. See my DJ homie, we all having a good time. But the attention was all on us. Automatically, as soon as we walked in, they seen like a group of like, Swaggy ass motherfuckers. We try to walk to the DJ booth and some some little ass studs come up to us on some raw rock type shit. Like, you know that, you know, like the little little man syndrome type shit. Like, and next thing I know, we start getting pressed by these two midget studs. <laughs> and they were like, hey, who in here filming? Why why are y'all filming? The same reason why y'all are, because we try and get content, bro. Like, what do you mean? Of course you had some little girl with dreadlocks. Come in to start trouble with us. They come in and cut it out. Y'all play through here. They come in and cut it out. Y'all play through here. They come in and cut it out. Y'all play through here. They come in and cut it out. Y'all play through here. They come in and cut it out. Y'all play through here. They come in and
come in, start grabbing my cameras, start pushing them down or whatever. I'm like, whoa, whoa, what's going on? We don't, we don't care, bro. No, Turn it off for security. I'm like, oh, okay, bad. Like, but I thought they was playing because Diamond is on the DJ booth. And I'm like, ain't, ain't no disrespect, ain't no issue. Who, who's producing this? I'm like, easy. Here, bro. Turn it off for security. It's gonna get you out. Okay, you know to be aggressive. No, we did it because y'all came in here aggressive. y'all down escorting us down to this lit ass party no, we because y'all came in here aggressive cut it off cut it off i literally told the girl i said look man we'll cut the cameras off but you do not have to be aggressive i say it just like that she's like nah this our spot y'all try to come in here and i don't know who y'all think y'all is and i'm just like yo chill out you ain't gotta be aggressive bro chill <laughs> came in and y'all didn't pay x y and z every time you know how these parties work you gotta pay blah 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 i said whoa 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 cowgirl slow it down reel it in baby girl i'm not supposed to be here recording and i'm supposed to pay and i gotta it's a private event it's invite only diamond got invited yo security said he knew me and he loved what i'm doing all of them Three, y'all all seen us walk past us with y'all security. Y'all security escorted us in like where it was motherfucking top flight. Y'all escorted us in, treated us like celebrities. So I'm like, damn, y'all treat me like Beyonce. But your little girlfriend didn't like the treatment we was getting. That's what I'm assuming. Now, y'all push me to the curb. Uh, treat me like... Then while she getting all rah rah buck wild, I guess the owner of the party comes up to me. She's a beautiful woman. Comes up to me like, yo, what's going on? I'm a queen. I'm a queen. I'm the founder of it. What's going on? Yeah. Okay. Okay. She was just like, y'all got nothing. I'm like, whoa. You know, I got bodyguards. I'm okay. sorry. I have Yeah, what was this? She starts talking to me. She's like, look, I am so sorry. One of them is my girlfriends, and you know how studs can be. She was just mad. I know, I know. I'm sorry. You know how the masculine is in She literally, like, you know how studs can be. Like, she just a little aggressive, maybe, maybe a little intimidated by y'all, but. Just whatever you do, just don't record with the light on. I'm like, all right, bet. As we're talking, and, and she just tells me this, the little stud come back over on some rah, rah, rah type shit. I'm like, bro, she just told us, why are you tripping? This ain't even your spot, it's hers. No, no, you need to talk to me because I'm And then when we actually got to talk to the person whose actual event it was, and it had nothing to do with them people, she was like, everything's fine, I'm sorry. They just get a little... They get a little extra, but maybe, you know, you can film, just not, no, don't turn the lights on and stuff. But they were still mad. They were still pressing us, still being aggressive. So then we had to get up out of there. And they trying to kick us out. And we like, oh my God. You tripping. Relax, relax. Don't play that shit. The, you know how chihuahuas be? They like the, the littlest dogs, but they got all that bark. That was the energy that they came up on. And it just continued even after we left the event. Mind you, when we walked through, they seen a big group of people. You can't miss us. So if you didn't want to let us in, you could have been like, nah, y'all got to pay to get in or you guys can't come in. They were, everybody was fine with it. The only person who had an issue was a little girl with dreads. And I feel like the only reason that they kicked us out was because of the girl with dreads. I don't know if she was jealous or envious of us or whatever. And maybe it was taking attention away from them, from their club, but like, there was no reason. We didn't do anything. We didn't start any fights. They tried to start a fight with us. No, I didn't know it was weird. They kicked us all out. You fucking like, I don't ran by studs. We didn't want to fight nobody. We wasn't doing it. We didn't want to 
I'm gonna say she it. She came like, y'all niggas gotta turn this shit off. And she's not even the owner of the event. I talked to her and said, I'm so sorry. The owner said, I'm so sorry. You know, no, literally, literally, she was like, thank you so much. We were so confused. And she was like, she was like, is this your shit? I was like, I was like, oh, we all here. I was like, you know, it's a soldier. We all soldier to us. She had girlfriend shit. And her girlfriend was like, I'm so sorry. Does anybody know her? No. Yeah, she's like, I'm so sorry. 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 She's like, I'm so She's like, just let she me know. She said, cut the light. No, she hey, just hey, told me she hey, said, cut the light. Look at that list. She literally issue. said, she said, just she cut the light off. Look, 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 she said, we can't come back in. It seemed like on some hater energy, they had cameras there. People are recording there. Other people recording there. Nobody saying nothing to them, but just come directly to us. We not trying to cause no problems. We think the party late. I ain't even gonna cap. Even like when we walked out, whatever, the little girl with dreads, she tried to come up. And when we were just standing outside and she tried to like pull on her fake I guess and act like she was gonna do something you're like four feet nothing what are you really gonna do but it was it was just so it was weird like you guys are mad because you're, you're we're taking attention away from you you should be happy that's, that's the problem in the gay community hate on studs we came here we came here like look it's studs it's lesbian we came here on some cold turn up shit nigga I don't know, man. Like, people are weird. Like, it shouldn't be like that in the gay community. And we should be supporting each other. You should be happy. Like, you got some big ass people here. You got easy. And usually, you got to pay them to come to your club. And they went in there for free. That's great promotion. Like, as a person who throws events myself, that would be great promotion for me. And I'll be like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Easy in the club, eh? Hey. But, like, these are weird. They're weird. They don't think smart. I'll call you later. I just want to let you know I'm going to call you later. I didn't hear about you, okay? Yeah, no. I'm going to call Doing some next shit. Is Brie on the phone? Yeah. Man, Let me see. Told me to camera. Come on. Let me see. Hello? Can you? She I don't. Can you put the Brie? camera over here? Yeah. Y'all. Y'all doing some next shit, bro? Leave. Leave, my nigga. I'm talking to my friend. Leave. What's the issue? I, I, I'm at. What's Why the issue? What, what, what have I done to you? Y'all doing some. So, can you move your camera? No, Bria, no, this, I work Bria, for the team. On. I what? work for the team. I know, what? I know, it's fine. So, I'm asking, I'm asking what's the, what is the problem? Give him anything. Nobody did anything. Weirdo, yo, weirdo. No, nigga, you're a weirdo, weirdo bro. Weirdo. Fuck you, bro. Weirdo. You're the one starting the shit. Weirdo. You're a weirdo, bro. Nigga, you jealous because you ugly? <laughs> the fuck? I'm coming to talk to my friend, and they started being weird. Leave me alone. Nobody's doing weirdo. anything to nobody, bro. No, we Bree, come weirdo. here, bro. Like, what is, like, what's the problem? Does what? Nobody's doing anything. I'm not trying to talk to my engage. friend, bro. Don't even, don't even like, no, her, no, I know, cause no, she's not gonna talk don't to me crazy. Nobody's don't, doing anything. Don't, don't we came here exactly. I don't know her, so why is she talking to me like she knows me? She don't. So don't let nobody. I'm literally. I came out here to show love, and they making a scene. Like y'all bitches is weird. Hey, focus, focus, focus. Bro, no, they the bitches is weird. That's so fucking. They're out of pocket. They're out of pocket, bro. No one's doing anything to nobody. I'm like, I'm so sorry. You know how it is with masking and stuff. Like, just cut the light off. Can you walk okay, okay. me to the goddamn sidewalk? Okay, okay. Because it's not an issue, bro. Okay. Like, I'm not trying no, to cause no yeah, issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, for real. She, she, she's okay. Let me just, let me just have a real okay. conversation no, no, with you. No, please. Like, please. Yeah. Yeah. Got so, my thing is, no, no, no. I'm calm. My thing is, she got very aggressive with me earlier for no reason. And we came here to show love. That's it. Nobody's showing. And if there was a privacy issue, I apologize. Okay, I don't apologize yeah. that we didn't talk to that. nobody Thank first, you. but she came at us so crazy. Thank like, you tearing us easy? apart. Who's easy? And I said, we're all doing that. We're, we're, we're just filming content. She yeah. said, what the f is the camera nigga, for? If, if I said, we're filming content. She said, point out who's easy. Point out who's easy. Like, nigga, y'all can't Exactly, feel. but if I'm, I'm like, a, if I'm a business shit. opportunity, I'm going to be like, oh shit, y'all did a reality yeah, series on back. And then I was like, okay, baby, but what's the issue? Like, why are we tripping on each other? All right, We all can I be real with you? Yeah, so what's up? Okay, my name is Wax. Wax, I'm Diamond, bro. I'm in the industry, too. Yeah, we cool. What's your name? The issue was the cameras and the Just Okay, and that's okay. We could have turned the cameras off, but immediately she's talking about some, y'all can't do this. Y'all niggas can't do that. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. Why are you tripping on me, baby? Stupid. I thought she was joking at first. I literally, I said, y'all breaking us? I thought she was like, nah, I'm just with y'all. She's like, Stop that shit. But that's why stuff can't get along you, because no, of shit you. like this. And that's what I'm trying to say. This is about community. We don't yeah. have a lot of spaces like this. We don't. We this don't. ain't no Hollywood shit. Absolutely. Absolutely.
That's not what this shit is about. Yeah. This is not about clout. This is about giving a safe space for queer, black excellence of all types. And I understand that. And if you know and what if I mean, we, our presence or that type of presence made y'all feel unsafe or made it feel like they were, we were trying it to, did. That's to why gentrify it, it or some shit. Like, why are you so on camera? We didn't do it. They mad because we look good. good. Oh, oh yeah, 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 came and shut it down. They mad because we look good. They were so aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> that, I, we got the invite. I thought it was going to be a good thing. It would be a good thing for black and brown people. I did not want it to be this. And this is why it's upsetting for me. And I'm not upset. I don't want to fight. I don't want no issues. I know, but listen. I want to be able to come back into some something like this and it'd be okay. And I know that, like, the homegirl that she said it was her event yeah okay you said it's Bree. your event yeah I'm, that's yeah, my girlfriend, girlfriend. Yeah, we never even seen her girlfriend who was her girlfriend was her i don't know the the the, the, the oh, ugly like kid kid play play i don't, I don't know, know, that's know. That's i think that's it was the girl with the dreads like the dreads? yeah she was so <laughs> aggressive so what i'm trying to tell you is that the people that you came here with were very disrespectful i need you guys to go back to the They were. They were very I'm, I'm, disrespectful, bro. That that. No, we do because y'all came in here dressed. Come on, cut it off. Cut it off. I just want to know where the disrespect came in because the but disrespect just, it just not, I, just not okay. Let me about tell you. It. Yeah. So when I saw you guys with the camera, I don't feel like we were in the wrong. Like from the time that we got there, we stated who we were. Um, we got out and talked to everybody. They let us in with cameras. The cameras had the lights on. Yeah. And I asked, I said, wait, because I thought y'all were with the people here. Yeah, yeah. But it was brought okay. to my attention very quickly that you're not, like people who work here. They're not with us. Okay. They let us walk past the, the front desk. They were happy for us to be there. We go downstairs, we're vibing for 30 minutes. We're having a good time. And then they just bum rushed us with bullshit. It don't work like that, bro. So I asked you, yeah, and you seemed confused. And I turned around, and I asked him to turn off the camera. I said, if you do not turn off the camera, yeah. he said security is going to have see, to step in. No, that ain't got nothing to do with us. You're mad at us because your people let us in when we weren't an approved camera crew. We we're approved by the front door. Like that's y'all issue, not ours. So the fact that it even escalated that way, that. That they need to work on their security, not us. I'm the person that got the invite. I was like, oh, I'm with a whole bunch of studs. I'm like, we're about to be around a whole bunch of black and brown people. We're about to have a good time. I thought it was cool that we could just be here. I didn't know that the filming was an issue. There's a hundred places we've been today filming, ain't nobody said nothing. Yeah, we came, and the first thing we came to, yeah. queer, we get into an issue, and they like, oh, it's because we studs. This is why the lesbian community is so like masculine presenting women have bad images because women like this. It's not often that masculine women can come together and have a great time, and that's what I was trying to create. And I feel like with them, they ain't want none of that. They wanted problems. They felt intimidated. They felt like the spotlight was taken off of them and brought onto us. And Everything went left. You were not 86th <laughs> right. from this place. Yeah. You were not shown from this place. All right, okay, all right. this is a very welcoming place. I understand that. I like to extend a courtesy to you and yeah. thank you for your patience. I Absolutely. apologize. And that's why I came to talk. I don't, you know, no, no issue. Okay. You I love having a great ass time and promoting people's shit. Now it's just like, damn bro, like cause all that drama for no reason. When we pull it up, you know we gon' act a fool with it. Baby mama drama ain't got shit to do with it. Ain't got shit to do with it, oh, oh.
did. You did. I gotta use that okay. money. Okay. Clap it up for Smith. Clap it up for the ultimate stud right here, Diamond. Let's go. Crazy. I could have done crazy. it. I it was embarrassing as fuck. That's a trip. No, no way. It wasn't embarrassing. The other thing is, and you just gotta do it. Honestly. Easy, that was so good. Oh, yeah. That doesn't embarrass me once in public. I'm gonna do anything. That is no message. That's true. I mean, we was all, no, don't lie. We was all still doing it. We know it's one hell of a challenge. You gotta just know how to, you gotta know how to do it. Okay, if you're trying to say we don't know how to do it. Look at Smith. Oh, oh, okay. Break it up, break it up, break it up. Oh, it's Ashley, bro. It's